Jones. And now it's up to 25 points for LeBron. And it's Rondo with the ball for Cleveland. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Yeah, tough game on the road. The, the guys are defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Poked away from deep. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for it. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. With Lakers coach Frank Vogel. Frank, what did you think about LeBron's performance in the first half? Well, he was great. You know, they're trying to make him beat them over the top. And, uh, you know, he's shooting the ball with a lot of confidence, knocked down a lot of threes, also giving us great energy on D as well. It's almost like he's a really good player, right? Thanks, Coach. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He had 27 points, three assists, and one rebound. He didn't perform up to his standards in their last game. Tonight's a different story. He obviously has a short memory. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. They're getting into the lane whenever they want, getting some high percentage looks. I don't see the coaching staff coming up too much. Keep it simple. Force your opponent to adapt to you. And Shaq, what do you have to say about the Cavaliers? Well, their sloppy play really surprised me, especially the turnovers. No matter who they had out there, they never seemed to be on the same page. Their only hope is to make every possession count, and that means taking care of the ball. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Oof. That first half looked like a dunk contest mixtape was just destroying the rim. Yeah, the defense has got to be a little bit embarrassed. There is no reason why he should just be on top of that rim. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. On the court for Cleveland, Mobley and Allen, the two big men inside. Garland is out there with the coral, and it's Markinen in at the three spot. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Allen kicks to Markinen. Pass to Okoro. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. And here we go, fast break, Ellington's got the ball. Nailed from three-point land. Three point. Ellington's got his first three points of the game. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. A nice shot by Okoro. To have a long career in the league, I think Garland's gonna have to be more of an assist maker. Here is Ellington. Isaac Okoro picking up that last basket. Connects from three-point range. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Now, here's Okoro. Ellington defending from 13. Off the left rim and out. 
Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. And not wasting any time here, kicking their offense right back into gear. That's three of four from the field. To the middle. And it's Bradley. That time on the assist by Ellington. Bradley's got 12. Yeah, they've only missed one out of their first five shots here in the second half, guys. Their offense really moving well, ball snapping, and the shooting looks to be in great rhythm. And stolen by Ellington. Here's Horton Tucker. The fast break Taylor ends Horton at the Tucker. rim with a jam. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. The Cavaliers have gone one of three since starting the second half. It's stolen by Jones, out, and the Lakers, the Lakers call time here. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. comes in for Jared Allen and it's Sexton in for Markinen. the Lakers also changing it up Russell Westbrook in for Avery Brandt James comes in for Wayne Ellington Davis is subbed in for Jones James with the bucket and everything is dropping for them terrific second half run well with the confidence growing that's one thing but they seem to be getting more intense and that's helping the quality of their play here they have been bored dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge LeBron. Two points. That one goes. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Here's Augustine. Yes, and it's DJ LeBron Augustine. picking up the assist. Assisted by LeBron's LeBron got his James. fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The dish now to Mobley. And it's a That's defensive three-second three violation. violation. Cavaliers ball. And he's got his first chance at the line here. At the line for Cleveland. Kevin Love. And so he hits the technical free throw. You think about Cavaliers. post players in the league with who you can run an offense through. And because of Kevin Love's incredible passing ability and vision might be at the top of the list as somebody you could play through. Levert's check in for Cleveland. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. And so it's Cleveland with it. Uncovered. It's hauled in by LeBron. Yeah, that miss might stick with him for a little while. That's kind of a shoot-around jumper if I've ever seen one. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. As NBA revenues climb into the tens of billions of dollars, teams have even more resources to LeBron compete. James. Staffs are growing with more coaches, trainers, and specialists, so general managers have more to manage than ever. Generally, the best organizations are those that effectively collaborate and communicate across the board. Kevin? And D.A., as we know, that's always been the case. Thank you. Davis, that's for two. And there's Anthony another Davis. one for the Lakers. The ball rotates over to A.D., and he simply rises up and makes that jump shot look so, so easy. It's stolen by Davis. Westbrook passes to Augustine. Here's Davis. And Anthony good. Davis. Coming in on the assist, assist by D.J. Augustine. Augustine. Augustine's got his eighth assist in the game. And stolen by LeBron. And Anthony Davis Anthony again. Davis. Davis has got six points in the quarter. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. There's been an attack mode on the defensive end. Well, you add to that, their block totals tonight. They've been very feisty and active on the defensive LeBron end. James. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. They're getting beat up pretty badly out there. And I don't care what anybody says. You can't keep the status quo. If it ain't working, you got to make some changes. John Rondo has checked in for Cleveland. Outside, Sexton. 
Cleveland moving it around. Johnson against Levert. Here's Mobley. Two minutes. And it's sent back by Howard. Oh, that reach of Dwight Howard's is so impressive. A dominant shot blocker and a tremendous athlete. Four on the clock. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Mobley misses. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Timeout called the Lakers. And as things present themselves throughout a game, you have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Tucker's checked in for Howard. LeBron James. James comes in for Avery Bradley. Davis. Davis is subbed in for Johnson. And a deep three from James. The rebound by Kevin Love. Well, a fast start in the first half. Looks like he's playing the second half in the mud. Greg, let me tell you a little known fact about Kevin Love. He played Little League Baseball with Clay Thompson. <laughs> they, they've been friends since they were eight. Imagine if they were teaming up on the court instead of the diamond. Even at eight years old, that's an inside-out combo that probably could have dominated some high school teams. And James LeBron gets it to go. James. James has got 10 points now just in this quarter. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Passes it to Mobley. Feeds it to Sexton. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Monk kicks to James. Launches it. It's good from long range. James. James has got 40 points. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. I mean, who needs teammates when you can do all that work yourself? LeBron looking spry and youthful. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Allen's checked in for Mobley. And it's Markinen in for Colin Sexton. Free throw good, James. Interesting to watch LeBron James at the line through the years. Has tried many different free throw strokes. Not a bad free throw shooter by any means, but always tinkering. Now here's Lavert. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Misfires on the corner three. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. That's going to send LeBron James to the line. It's on Rajon Rondo. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Shooting one. We've got 13 seconds left in the third. And stolen by LeBron. Over Rondo. He got it again. Sensational. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. Three-pointer marking him. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. He's looking to make history here today. Who knows how many points he'll end up with when it's all said and done. Right back after this break.